Hello guys, Dan here, welcome back to the channel. Uh, in today's video we will do something little different. Uh, I will paint this Panoceania engineer in the different skin. Uh, so I will use uh, a Contensimento uh, color scheme and I will paint him this way. So some people uh, like to have uh, choices between their uh, army colors. And as well in this video I changed little my background from the white to something more neutral so you, you have like a better view of the colors. Uh, so please let me know in the comments what do you think about this new angle and this new way of recording and the picture will be slightly bigger so I think it will be better. I primed the model with the red bone spray uh, and I try to achieve even coat all around the model uh, because I plan to use uh, some contrast paints uh, in the future so I wanna have a good uh, and even coverage before I do that. Uh, first color I applied uh, will be a black templar contrast. Uh, I use this uh, straight from the pot and I painted uh, all the sections on the model that I want them to be black. So his handgun and the wrench I painted uh, in two thick coats, while everything else was only one uh, thick coat. So I painted his uh, boots uh, and then uh, all the, these little bags that he have uh, on his back as well. And here is the final result, so you can copy the same uh, parts of the model that I uh, painted black. So, not that much, just a just few details. Uh, for his skin, I will use another contrast paint, which is Gilliman Flash. And as well, I will apply this in uh, one uh, thick coat. Next step uh, will be blocking all the green colors. So we will use a heavy black green and I will paint with this color only his pants. Uh, you can see here that I painted his color, uh, but I changed my mind here and I will paint it uh, on the brighter green because it was too dark. So I will just keep his pants in this color. For the brighter green parts, uh, I will use a Warbos green and uh, this will be for his color and then I will paint it, uh, all these little pieces of the armor that he have like on his uh, elbows, on his knees and the little ones on his feet as well. As well, I decided to paint all his pockets, the front one and the back one as well, uh, with this color just to create a little contrast. Uh, for all the latter parts, we will use uh, Gore Grant Affair contrast paint and uh, we will apply this in one uh, very thick coat. So all the straps, the latter straps around the miniature and these uh, little bags. So just go slowly and uh, try to be uh, very tidy here, so you don't go over the, the green parts that we already painted. So you hear everything we painted so far, so you can pause here and just analyze and see what parts I painted, because maybe I didn't mention everything uh, while I was uh, talking and recording, but you can copy the same thing. Uh, for his hair, and the beard, we will use another contrast paint, which is Wildwood. And uh, same thing as we did before, one thick coat. And uh, here, uh, try to be tidy when you go around the face, but it's actually not a big deal if it goes little over the face, it just creates uh, a little shadow. But it will be better if it doesn't go. Uh, now it's time for this uh, signature armor. Uh, we will use a uh, light sea blue and uh, just uh, put it on a wet palette, add a few drops of water to it so it have a nice uh, and a good flow from the brush. And uh, we will go uh, one or two 
very thin coats uh, and cover all the parts that you want actually to be blue on this model so it's actually majority of them i just left a couple of uh, on the on the side of his uh, legs and one on the front of his feet white and as well uh, one part on his arms in case you made some mistakes, uh, take a uh, ultra and gray and just reinforce uh, all these uh, white panels that are left at the end and that are supposed to stay uh, purely white. Uh, so just go around the model and fix uh, all the little mistakes that we made uh, while uh, painting the rest of the model. For all the yellow parts, I used the uh, Averland Sunset. So it's uh, for his uh, shoulder uh, pad here, and then on these cables that he have strapped uh, around his left arm, I will just uh, draw some hazard stripes. So just uh, every few millimeters, uh, draw uh, one uh, line, and just go around and try to draw it uh, from all the sides if you can. And last, the color that we need to block on this model will be a lead belcher. Uh, so I will use this uh, just on this little part on the base, but uh, mostly I used it uh, for his buckles. So all the buckles that he have around uh, the model, so there is like a few on the back and a couple on, on the front, just paint them uh, silver. Now it's time to wash our model. Uh, I will use a dark tone and mix it with a quick shade wash medium 50-50 so it flows uh, better and it doesn't uh, pull on my uh, flat uh, armor panels which is very important so I don't need to do too much cleanup uh, after. Uh, this step will actually tie all these colors together it will create uh, shadows so this will give like uh, a good look to this model uh, when this wash get dried so just go all around you don't need to wash the face but everything else uh, is recommended to be washed thoroughly so this is uh, how the model uh, looks like after everything is dried so if you want you can really stop at this stage and your model will look decent uh, but we will bring it to another level so we will start highlighting now and make these colors pop even more so we will start in the same order as before so we will go first to heavy uh, black green and go back to his pants uh, and we will do a little clean up so everywhere when the wash uh, make the color too dark uh, we will repaint it with this color uh, but try to leave all the recesses uh, in the shade uh, so don't go inside the recesses only on the on the raised areas And for the highlight for the pants, uh, I mixed uh, mood green uh, with the heavy green uh, black 50-50 and I used this color only to highlight uh, the most raised areas and the folds of the pants. So I left everything else uh, in, in the uh, shade of previous color. Now we move to our second green, which is Warboss green, and we will actually do the same. So we will go around the model and do a little cleanup. So the most raised areas where our wash spilled on top of them, we will just return them uh, to this color. So all the flat areas you want them to be in this uh, tone as well.
And to make our final highlight, uh, we will mix uh, Flash Gits Yellow with the Warbos Green 50-50 and we will apply this as a edge highlight uh, on the armor panels where we can do that and on all other uh, parts uh, you will apply this on the most raised areas or on the edges uh, on these armor panels that he have on his elbows you can just put a little dot on them So when it comes to the armor, we will continue in the same pattern as before. So we are going first uh, back to the light sea blue and then we are going to cover uh, like 90% of the previous uh, surfaces uh, just to do the, all the cleanups of the armor to, to bring it back uh, this color to its uh, natural uh, tone and uh, leave all the recesses intact so we don't want to go inside the recesses and ruin the, our shadows from the wash. So we have to start the highlighting now, so we will add a sky blue to the mix, like we will start like a 50-50 and then I will add a little more in the next step. And then for the first pass I will cover like 30% of the surfaces and then when it comes to a second pass I will highlight only like 10% of the surfaces. Uh, I will highlight only the most raised surfaces that are mostly exposed to the lights or the ones that are mostly at the top but the ones that are under I will still leave them in the previous color. So you can see here uh, now when I start going with the second pass that you can actually see a different uh, in the shades uh, in the highlights. And our final highlight will be done with the pure sky blue uh, and uh, this will be done only as an edge highlight. So go around the armor and highlight uh, every edge uh, with this. Uh, don't make too thick lines, like uh, very thin lines uh, will do the job. Uh, this is my result at the end, so you can try to achieve something similar to this, or even much better. Uh, for all the white panels, I will go back to Ultra and Grey and uh, just do the little highlights uh, at the tops of these areas. Uh, now we will go back to Averland Sunset and go and do all the stuff that we did uh, before uh, but now with the yellow color. So uh, we will go back around all the uh, parts that we painted uh, yellow and the wash made them darker and just uh, bring them back to its uh, natural uh, shade uh, but leave all the recesses. For all these uh, hazard stripes I will go back to them and work a little more on them just to make a, a little better lines before I continue. And for the final highlight I will use a Flash Gits Yellow and just highlight like some areas of these rings that he have uh, on this little backpack and uh, on his uh, shoulder panel you will highlight only the most raised area. Uh, for the hazard stripes you can put uh, little dots uh, in the middle of every stripe. And uh, for all the black parts uh, we will use administratum grey and uh, this will go as a pure edge highlight. Uh, you can even dry brush this uh, on the gun and uh, the wrench that you have if you really want to but I prefer like drawing uh, little lines all around. Uh, it just so, so satisfying to work like that for me. Uh, 
I missed a spot on his backpack to draw uh, hazard lines. Uh, so I will go back to black and just uh, do them now. For all the little silver details, uh, we'll go and take a stonehouse silver and just do a little edge highlight of all the buckles. Uh, to finalize the head, uh, we will start with the hair. So I will take a Japanese uniform and uh, I will remove most of the color from my brush. So it's like almost a dry brush. And then I will just uh, slightly pull a brush around his hair just to create a nice and soft uh, highlight. Uh, for the skin, I will use the Kisla Flash and I will highlight only the most uh, raised areas of the face, like uh, nose, cheeks, uh, forehead, lips, uh, his ear as well. Uh, when it comes to his eye, uh, this model has a beautifully sculpted uh, eye already, so you just uh, paint a little white on the eye in the, in the middle, just nicely and try not to go into the recesses and then you can come back with uh, any black and just put uh, a little dot in the middle to have a pupil. And that's it, uh, he's done. I will transfer him to the base that I made before. I will include the link in the description below how to make the same base. And uh, guys, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video and I hope that I give you some good advice with this alternate uh, skin color for the Panoceania. And as well, I'm interested in your opinion about this uh, new angle for recording. Do you like it when it's like uh, bigger like this and with a neutral background? And guys, if you enjoyed, please don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. It will really mean a lot to me. And until next video, stay safe, take care and bye bye.